Hello and welcome to Until I Die. If you don't know what Until I Die is, it's basically a series where I play a game until I die. This time, it's the Swords of Ditto. Let's go. Uh, we will go for regular, uh, recommended for most adventurers. Regular mode provides a strong but fair challenge. Hell yeah, regular mode. This is a roguelite game. So basically, your character dies, you return with a different character, and they continue on the story, that kind of thing. If any of my characters die, it's game over. Wake up! Wake up! Hey, Sleeping Beauty, wake up! It's not the seagull talking to me, right? Oh, don't tell me we've fallen out of the first hurdle. Oh? Hello, Dung Beetle, how you doing? Maybe if I just pinch his nose. Maybe if I just stop the breathing in his nose. What if I just... Ah, nothing like a lack of oxygen to bring a person to their senses. Anyway, morning, sleepyhead. Nice of you to join us. Okay, first things first. We've got to get you kitted out with the sword. See that uh, glowing light? Follow it. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself again. And I? Ah, first time nerves. Okay, uh, there's a lot to get through, so it's probably better if we explain as we go. Uh, oh, I uh, guess I should introduce myself. <laughs> Her uh, name's uh, Puku. Uh, nice to meet you. Now, let's get to the town. Okay, this way. The, the glowing sword tells all. There's also a lighthouse, but I could probably not enter. Shop at Ditto Mart. There's literally no other choice. Sweet. Not that way. For the glowing sword. All right. Get your sword. All right, I'll get my sword. Let's follow the sword. This game is adorable looking. I absolutely... Love how it looks. It is a really cool looking game. Welcome to town. There's the sword. That looks like a sword with a flag in it. Ditto town. We're here in Ditto town. This is the main town on the island. But we'll have plenty of time for the tour later. For now, let's head for the statue. Okay, I can go to a statue. Hello, fellow human. Oh. My. God. That outfit. I've never seen anything like it. Where did you get it? You know what? I, I wish I wish I could tell you. I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to ignore you. I'm just a bit pig pride about something. My grandson always used to say that if you heard loud clanks and bangs from underground, then that meant Mormo was about to return. Last night I heard this huge clunking sound coming from under my house. It couldn't be. Could it? Ah, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's fine. There's the Ditto Mart. Your only choice. Did, did you just hear a voice? Oh, I've got to stop taking double shifts at the Ditto Mart. Yeah. The night shift will kill you. We brought perpetual darkness to the world! As you grasp the sword, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your forebearers, who have become the Sword of Ditto! Ta-da! Look at you, standing there all sparkly and heroic. Guess it's time I explained a few things, huh? Right, Ditto is under a curse, see? Every hundred years, the wicked witch Mormo rises to spread her evil influence across the land. Now, unopposed evil is kind of unfair, so a hero, the Sword of Ditto, also rises to fight Mormo and stop her evil schemes. Hint, that's you. I guess that's a pretty big ask, seeing as you just washed up here and all. But I don't write the rules and there's no complaints department. You want to know what's so bad about Mormo? Well... It's a bit off script, but why don't I show you? Be time to listen to me to me some more, right? Come on, her palace is this way. Let's go. All right then. So I've I've got a sword. Oh, I've got a sweet dodge roll. I got a I got a, I can do that. I can do this. I can switch two things. Um, 
I can I can burn things. Oh holy hell. Okay, that was really, really cool. Um Okay, so the sword is telling me to go this way. So I will follow the sword. I also kinda wanna buy some toys, but you know palace awaits and all that. I like the dodge roll, but I just sort of turn into a ball, it's pretty good. This game is really cool, by the way. Look, monsters! Look at all these creeps! Guess they know their ooky poo spooky master is about to return. Let's check the tower, see if anything started yet. Oh, but be careful! It did look real bad if you died at the first challenge. So, I have played a tiny bit of this, because I didn't know how easy it would be to die. Um, I tried to get hit by these enemies for like a couple minutes. You, I'm pretty sure you can't die in this section because it's tutorial. Um, I could be wrong, of course, but I have like I did try loads of ways of dying just to see what it would be like. So I'm pretty sure you can't die. But that's okay. We can enter the castle. Yeah, so I have I have not uh, entered beyond here, so we will uh, see what happens. Ooh, getting real Adventure Time vibes. I don't know why. Oh my God, it's a monster! Oh, I think you can only be affected uh, by like specific attacks, but aren't or not. Never mind. Uh, yeah, if I get rid of your fire, yeah, you're not going to die, never mind, okay, we'll just ignore you, I can't seem to kill you, so we'll just, uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll just ignore you. I don't know if this is, like, randomly generated or not, but it's pretty cool so far. Ooh, what is that? What are you? Uh, the flower is gone. Aha! There we go. It's 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 an enemy spawner. Hey. Oh oh, it's an enemy exploder. I can't even notice that I don't have any health on screen. I don't know if that's a problem. Or... Bye. Yeah, I really love the art style of this game. It's super adorable. But in the absolute best way. You know what? I probably have to... Well, I have to be able to kill these guys, so it's probably like a bomb thing. It most certainly is a bomb thing. I, I've killed the enemy. What if you don't have bombs? Because it wasn't working. I guess maybe you get behind them because of the shield. I don't know. But the bomb worked, <laughs> so that's all that matters. It did the job. The job was mine, and that's all I really wanted, so... Hooray. So I wonder how this game is going to progress... Oh. G glad it didn't kill me. I wonder how this game is going to progress in terms of, like... Uh... Like, what abilities you get. Uh, I presume we're going to get more as the game goes on. I think it's time. Ah, blast it. You need to light these things to get past this door. Have you got anything that you can start a fire? You know, I certainly do. Use a torch by pressing Y while I select an enemy. You can open your bag with ah and assign items to E whenever you want. Excellent. Wrong button. Uh, while we're on the subject of E, let's uh, let's see what we got. So we got maps. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can see the uh, sections there. Got our bag, our trusty, trusty bag. Yeah, there's going to be loads of items. That's cool. Got stickers. Oh, it's a double. Uh, status, uh, basically um, stuff and menu. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm on board with all this. It's pretty nice. Uh, 
Ah, I should have known it was you, Puku. Only one can only hold off the vermin for so long, after all. Yeah, well, uh, it takes one to know one. I should have prepared something better than that. Well now, Puku, what are you doing, bringing the sword here so early? According to my curse clock, we still have four days until I kill them in the fated battle, no? Yes, you. You must be Puku's latest little toy. Charmed, I'm sure. I do hope she's explained just what you've signed up for. I don't much like toys, you see. I find them a distraction. They bring people joy, levity. Oh, these are not values I wish to be cultivated in my idiot flock. So I will make an example of you, young one. I will unfread every seam holding you together. I will rip your little button eyes off your head. I will pull out every inch of stuffing and scatter it far and wide so that all may know what becomes of hope. Wait, you're a toy? Well, this is definitely the first time a toy has ever seen the sort of ditto. Of course he isn't a toy! It, it's a metaphor, you insect brains! I... In and out. In. Seeing as you're already here, why don't I just nip this in the bud now and save time for everyone? My apologies, sword. It's nothing personal. Hey, no fair! The sword falls. And that's the end of Until I... No, it isn't. That's scripted. Of course it's scripted. And lo, did the sword fall to the ground, dulled in light and blade. Like so many before and so many to come. With her resurrection unopposed, Momo spread her tendrils of darkness across the land. The people bowed their heads in fear, praying that the sword may one day be reborn to them. A hundred years later, just as the last embers of hope were dying. They still have computer games, though. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I should be a creepy disembodied voice more often. <clears throat> anyway, right, hello, it's time for us to go. hundred years I've been waiting to get another go at Mormo, so let's skedaddle. That is a super cute animation. Gonna get the sword of Ditto part two. And if this time, if you die, you die. So better not die. It's so gross out here nowadays. Amazing what Momo can do to a place in a century. What? You've no idea who I am or what you're doing? Fine, I'll give you a quick intro. Ready? You're the list of the ditto. In short, run around, overcome trials, vanquish Momo, and go back to your everyday life. Blah, 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 blah. Look, I know I'm rushing you, but we've got very limited time, okay? Once you get your hands on the sword, it will become flooding back. Muscle memory or something. Yeah, that beats me. The sword should be with its last owner, which means uh, the graveyard. Follow my marker. To be fair, considering Mormo, like, took over the universe, this isn't as bad as it could be. Like, actually, I'd say it's pretty good, all things considered. So is my character random each time as well, or is it just... Oh, D Dittonling! <laughs> the Ditto Mart still exists. A crack or two in the walls, but generally still... Air Kazoo! <laughs> yes! Need that place. <sighs> I've got a weird feeling in my stomach, and I don't think it's the leftover poo bag for breakfast. <laughs> Let's head for the grave before something is he comes pops out. Oh, oh, that's somewhat disgusting, but okay. This is a really cool game, by the way. I absolutely adore this. We got the sword. 
As you take the sword from the grave, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your forebearers. You have become the sword of Ditto. There's my health. Look at it. There it is. Ta-da! We finally have our sword of Ditto. Our surroundings may give it away, but the last one didn't go so well because of me, specifically me, definitely me. Where still means it'll be hard for you to do worse. Something I might not have mentioned is that we've only got a few days to prepare before you have to face Mormo. Four days, to be precise. Uh, once four days have passed, it's time to go kick your scaly butt. Uh, but don't worry, it's more than enough time to get everything done. <laughs> Listen to me going on, though. We need to get this, to this town so we can get some directions. I'm marking on your map. Okay, cool. Go into the town. Four days until the showdown with Mormo. Four days! I got. I think I just got some currency. And I got some more currency, so silver is worth one, gold is worth two. Good to know, good to know. Good to know. I feel like I will need all the money in the world for my quest. Should I grind for cash monies? Who knows at this point. I'll get at least ten. I think ten is a good number. Um, there should be some more stuff in town I can break. Yeah, see? Loads. Ah, I can open that now. Okay! The old guy should be in the Hall of Swords. Let's go check it out. Oh, 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 and while we're here, let's grab a travel kazoo too. It'll save you a, a lot of legwork in the long run. So it's basically how you warp, I guess. And it's definitely worth checking out the toy shop too. I mean, for work purposes, obviously. And what about the Ditto Mart? You're not going to tell me that the Ditto Mart isn't worth it. So how much does an Air Kazoo cost, I wonder? I pressed the wrong button. Welcome to the Air Kazoo! Can I see your identification, please? Actually, it's more like a lady, so I don't know why I'm doing a radio voice or something. Well, I'll be a new customer. Been a while since I have one of these. Well, let me just find my new user script. <clears throat> uh, welcome to Air Kazoo! In order to utilize our instant musical travel services, please take this complimentary kazoo. <laughs> okay, press Y to summon the Akasu to, uh, to exit a dungeon. Sweet. Cool. To travel Akazu, simply locate and activate the Akazu beacons you find around Ditto. Okay, cool. Yay! That's pretty great. Is that any travel kazoo? Yep, can do. Have a nice day, thank you. So how much does one cost if I was to buy one? You blow, you go. Got some milk. Good for your bones. Okay, so... Um... Put it on... I definitely pressed down. Um... Okay, so that's... These are items or shortcuts. Gotcha. Okay. I just wanted to see how much it all cost, but... Since the game's not gonna tell me... 